getting the feeling back, seeing the ball go in the basket, good for your confidence, good for your game overall? Yeah, I mean, but I don't think at the end of the day that's the most important thing. I think the most important thing is getting back to winning. And, uh, you know, we we didn't – I didn't come here, you know, this year just to score points. You know, we want to figure out a way to win, and that's what we're going to be committed to doing the next couple of days. Uh, you look at this Minnesota team, they're still looking for their first Big Ten win. You might remember that feeling when you didn't have one, then you got one, and it kind of got you on a roll. How important is it for you to, like, get on them early and let them know that, to, that Thursday night is not going to be yeah, it's huge. You got to give them a lot of credit because uh, they're playing better. Uh, we watched their game um, on the way to Iowa against Indiana, and uh, they look like a different team. And so we're going to have to be prepared for a fight. And, uh, you know, I think both teams are going to be hungry, and so it's going to be about who wants it more. When you look at uh, the way the team's been playing, uh, you struggled getting the ball in the basket. So going back to with you getting your 30 and, and hitting the outside three-point baskets, uh, is that going to help things I mean, when you when you feel that success starting to come? Does it give you more confidence to take those shots, and, and how is that going to help translate to the team's overall success? Yeah, you know, it definitely felt good to have the ball go in a couple times, and you know, you just want to emulate offensively, you know, the things that you did. Um, but I think overall, I think making shots isn't our problem. I think it's our just our mental toughness. Um, you know, when teams start to score a couple points and go on runs, we kind of disintegrate. And so we got to find a way to, when that when teams go on a run, to, to, to fight back and make a pushback. Well, last time you played um, Minnesota, Aaron had a really good game. Mm -hmm. uh, but Aaron was also sort of under the radar at that point and now is no longer. Uh, you were a freshman. You know what it's like when you come out and people start putting you in the scouting report. Mm -hmm. uh, are you seeing him make the appropriate steps to become a better Big Ten player, knowing that I'm on the scouting report, knowing that they know that I'm a scoring option, those types of things. Yeah, you know, I think he does a really good job working hard. You know, every every freshman goes through struggles, and um, I think the thing for him is, you know, he has to just get lost. You know, a lot of the set plays that we run, you know, they're gonna stay on him, so he has to get lost in transition. You know, off of offensive rebounds, you know, that's how he's gonna get his shots. And I think he's doing a better job attacking the basket as well. Um, so hopefully, you know, we're going to get more consistency from him and more consistency from everybody, including myself. Trey, over your last three games, you scored 17, 4, and 30 points, with 30 being a career high. Are you going to use that, that milestone as sort of a way to build consistency for the rest of the season? Yeah, I hope so. You know, I think, you know, you just want to be aggressive and just kind of let it hang. You know, at this point, you know, you know, 10 games left in your career, you don't really have much to lose. And, uh, you know, you just want to leave it all out there. And, you know, I just, that's what this team is going to do, and that's what uh, I'm going to do for the rest of the season on both ends of the court. Brian's been struggling a little bit the last couple of games. It looks like teams have kind of focused on him. Is there anything that you've told him just to keep him uh, kind of in the game and keep, keep him uh, positive? Yeah, I think the, I mean, the biggest thing, you know, that he knows as well as, you know, for both of us as guards, is quick decisions. Uh, you know, we, the moment we hesitate, that's when the defense, you know, kind of locks in and, you know, the help side is better. So I think making quicker decisions is something that we're going to have to work on uh, moving forward. Scotty, uh, Scotty came off the bench, had 15 after not playing against Michigan State. How much of a boost is it to have a guy that can score like that mm -hmm. and uh, have him motivated and really into the game? Yeah, I mean, he's a big, you know, he, I think moving forward, he's going to have to be a big piece of what we're doing. And uh, we know he can shoot the ball. We know he can score the ball. And, um, you know, it, it was good to see him playing well, you know. And hopefully, you know, it could just carry forward and, you know, everybody can kind of get a little bit of a swagger back.